So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some chocolate peanut butter sandwich cookies. So these cookies consist of a peanut butter mixture um, which is sandwiched between some chocolate and ginger cookies. So these chocolate and ginger cookies are actually quite interesting because they're only made of three ingredients. Okay, so the thing is the ingredients is we have um, cocoa powder or cacao powder, whichever one, same thing really, um, some flour, any sort, and we're going to be using some of this. This is ginger syrup. Okay, so ginger syrup is very similar to maple syrup. Maple syrup here, as you can see, they're both fairly watery sort of um, textures. Ginger syrup is made of about 70% cane sugar and 30% ginger, um, whereas maple syrup is what it is, maple syrup. So um, you can choose between which one you prefer. For this recipe, ginger syrup is the preferred option because it's chocolate ginger cookies. If you can't find ginger syrup, you prefer maple syrup. Or if you still want the ginger flavour in, you can use maple syrup and you can put about a teaspoon of ginger powder in. Otherwise, you can just go for maple syrup and omit the ginger flavour altogether. For the um, peanut butter um, layer, we're going to be using peanut butter and some coconut milk. So for the peanut butter, I would strongly suggest using organic peanut butter, which is what I'll be using. So organic peanut butter is when it's just peanuts blended together with nothing else added in. You don't want any of that extra sugar or salt they usually put in. Just stick to organic peanut butter and you should be fine. So other than that, pretty fast and simple recipe as it usually is. So let's get started. Okay, getting straight to it. What we're going to start with is half a cup of cacao powder, a quarter of a cup of any flour you like. I'm using some self-raising flour here just because I want them to puff up just a tiny bit. But um, you can use any flour you like, um, you know, rice flours or um, even nut meals would work here or plain flours or anything you like that you usually have. So that's adjustable there. And we're going to put in a quarter of a cup of that um, ginger syrup. So I'll put that in. That gives it its ginger flavour. Okay, um, mix this in a bowl with the dough hook until it forms a dough. So that's basically it. Okay, that's what we're going for. As you can see, we've got a dough heel. So now we're going to cook them up. Okay, what we're going to do now is take the uh, dough out of the bowl there, and you're going to make um, some small balls, say so about this big. That's probably about two centimeters in diameter across. Let's make small balls, roll them out, and put them out evenly spaced apart onto the baking tray. So I've put the, uh, all the balls down there, so I've given them a bit of space. So this next bit requires um, a bit more care to it. So uh, what you do is take a small piece of baking paper and take a glass, right? So what you do is put the paper over each of the cookies, so one at a time, and then just press down. And what you want to do is press down until it's between half a centimetre to a centimetre flat. So you can just check the side of it. Make sure you've got the distance down. That's about it. Pull it up. Okay, and repeat that with all the cookies. Alright, so as you can see, the cookies are quite flat now. So what you need to do is take these and cook them in a 180 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes. So while those biscuits are cooking, we're going to make a filling. Alright, so for this filling, put a couple of teaspoons of some peanut butter into the blender. And a couple of teaspoons of coconut milk. Just blend that together. And that's basically it. Okay, so what you want to do now is let the cookies cool, of course, after they've been cooked. So now um, take them and just take one of them, I guess. Get some of the uh, coconut peanut butter filling we've made and just uh, scrape that on. Get another one and sandwich it together. And that's it. Repeat that with all the rest of the cookies. So 
So there is the finished result, as you can see here. Um, yeah, I mean, so basically it looks pretty good. We got the uh, two cookies sandwich with the uh, peanut butter mixture in the middle. So um, if you don't like peanut butter, I mean, this recipe is called peanut butter cookies, so I don't know why you clicked on it, but if you don't like peanut butter, you can just use whipped coconut cream. It actually does go really well with these biscuits as well. Another alternative you can do, which goes really well with the biscuits too, is if you actually mix some mint essence, probably about half a teaspoon of mint essence into the cookie mixture. That gives it that added mint flavor. If you use the mint, I would suggest going with the um, whipped coconut cream rather than the peanut butter because that goes together better that way. But for the uh, ginger cookie, peanut butter does go quite well in it. So, and of course, if you don't want peanut butter or even the whipped coconut cream, there's many other options you can put anything you like which will sandwich the cookies together. Of course, if you don't want to sandwich the cookies together and you just want to eat them straight away, do just that, eat them straight away. They are pretty good as they are. Uh, other than that, not much more to it than that. So there it is, finished result and enjoy.